Now here I go with my uh, third review of the day. <clears throat> I'm really trying to knock out a bunch. Um, I probably won't release all of these or uh, share them all um, in one day. I'll probably uh, time release them. Um, but if you're wondering why I have so many vi <laughs> videos wearing the same clothes, I actually uh, wore this same. Well, this is a outerwear, and then. Uh, the hat. I actually have an, uh, another video that I recorded on a different day wearing the same thing, at least on the outside. Um, but if you're wondering why there's so many more, it's because they're, I'm recording these on the same day. And actually, uh, the Remington hat that I have on, um, it's not made by Remington, but it's a licensed, uh, it's officially licensed uh, Remington, uh, has some significance to me. Um, to me, it, it just... Uh, represents um, my support for uh, the, the people in New York the sportsmen and the sportsmen in New York um, and the people fighting for their Second Amendment rights in New York uh, with me being from New York um, I, you know I think that's a thing people here I live in the country now uh, and people here probably see me with this hat and I fit right in I'm sure uh, with the camouflage and everything else um, but I'm, I'm not a country boy at all by any means. Um, I'm from the city, I've always been from the city. I, I love the country. I, I like it better. I prefer to live in the country. But uh, I'm actually a city person, um, you know, born and raised my whole entire life until recently. And, uh, um, you know, the hat just represents for me, um, you, know, you know, like I said, fighting for your Second Amendment rights um, and in the state of New York. Um, I know Remington is a company that, um, I don't know if their base is in New York, but I do know that they um, uh, do have a factory in New York. Or, and, um, you know, so, so Remington, especially if you watch my, uh, my uh, In the Wake of the Safe Act video, I talk about that a little bit, and uh, so that's what this hat represents for me, and that's why I choose to specifically wear this hat in these videos, um, rather rather than not wear any hat or, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, I'm indoors right now, so on a rainy day, um, you know, that's that's why, you know, now you know, and the shirt is because um, these are all being recorded on the same day. Galco King Tuck. Okay, this is the Galco King Tuck, and I'm going to call this video Fit for a King. And if you watched my um, last video upload prior to this series, uh, the videos that I recorded today, uh, that video was titled uh, King of Glocks, where I, I tell you that, in my opinion, your best option. See, I tell you, I burp in every video. I'm telling you. I don't know if this one will be before that video, but you'll, you'll see. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I tell you that the Glock 23 to me represents the king of all Glocks, and I'll say furthermore because of that, that it's the king of all handguns. Um, because if I'm going to put my life on the line, you know, if I, if I'm going to put my life in the hands of any firearm, I should say you know, the metaphorical hands, uh, it will be a Glock. Um, I think that they're just the most dependable. I think that the price is right, but I, I think actually that the price is awesome because I, I think that it doesn't matter. I think they're better than H&Ks, which cost, uh, you know, the plastic H&Ks, which cost way more money. I think that, um, I just, I don't think they can be beat for reliability, um, capacity, the weight, I mean, I, it, the simplicity, um, the price of parts, uh, you know, the price of spare parts for them. I mean, the availability of accessories, I, I mean, they just can't be beat. They really can't. Um, they're excellent. And with that, well, you're going to need means to carry your uh, King of Glocks, your Glock 23. And that's where the Galco King Tuck comes in, okay? This is the type of holster that I recommend. It's the type of holster I think nowadays most people recommend. Um, 
and for the time the amount of time that I've been involved in carrying this has always been around and and I have tried uh, a little bit with the other style which would be like the um, Uncle Mike's uh, kind of it's almost like a pouch holster with a single clip or maybe some kind of velcro system I just don't recommend that it doesn't work as good it's, it's just not as secure um, this is the way to go there's two clips okay it distributes the weight well because there's two clips and the you know and, the, and you know let's not be mistaken about something a Glock is a light gun but let's say like a 23 or even a 26 or 27 you know and, and these are light in terms of guns they're actually they're, they're kind of substantial I mean you know that you're carrying something there and they're large enough you know you know that you got something I mean it's not like carrying a North American Irish mini revolver or something where you can just put it in your pocket and actually for, you literally forget that it's there you're not going to forget that you're carrying this unless maybe you're walking around with one of these in your pants it's so comfortable that at least standing you can forget that you have it and do I use mine I mean look at the shape of this thing okay look at you know this is, gets like discolored or dirty or whatever for whatever I'm wearing because um, it's pretty much never against my skin maybe I'm sweating on it through my shirt because I, I have done several get this I have done several seven or eight mile hikes in this I think I've done two several uh, two seven or eight mile hikes wearing this thing carrying a 23 um, this will fit a 17 19 uh, 22 23 26 and 27 and I think it will fit all the uh, 357 SIG models of Glock um, If you're familiar with Glock, you know that they all those guns have the same exact frame size the same exact slide size um, You know, which is the smaller size compared to uh, the 21 the 30 the 20 and uh, I think it's the 29 um, those all have the uh, the large frame size which is the 40 and or I mean the 45 and the um, uh, 10 millimeter well <clears throat> you know which was why I, I chose the 23 it's got the fall smaller frame size with a lot of the same power that you get with a 45 you know being a 40 caliber well you really can't beat this for carrying I mean um, if you don't get this exact model the King Tuck I would recommend that you get um, the similar the same type uh, I know that some other ones are supposed to be really good this is the one that I have the most experience with of this style it's my you know I, I have no reason to change it basically because it, it works okay it comes with with the setting that it came on at least that mine came on it came with a forward cant which if you look at it you see that this is kind of angled off this way um, basically what that does I talk about this a little bit in my King of the Glocks video what that does is that tips the gun sideways so that when it's on your side and you reach back for it the way that your hand would naturally be you know fits that contour you know so that the handle is right where you want it which I'll show you that okay so that the handle will be coming up crooked like that so you reach it like that okay um, and that's adjustable because on the back they have these holes you see these holes where you can move these screws up and down and you can uh, if you make one higher than the other it'll make it sit straight if you drop the screws down on this side you can raise the height and lower it a bit I actually carry mine um, so where this sits up as high as I can get it um, when I was doing the testing with it that was where I could reach it best um, if you have a 23 the gun will end here on it and you'll have this will be almost extra I've considered cutting this off before uh, I may do that in the future because I I do not have a 22 or in or a 17 where to, where this extra piece will be come in uh, use I only have a 23 you know would be my biggest Glock where it ends here if you had a uh, 26 or 27 it, it would end about where this crease is here um, I actually did some um, modifications on mine if you look at the back here you see where it says Galco 
this originally comes up higher, it comes up like this, and it comes over, and then down. But what I found was happening, and let me uh, safety check this here, it's actually loaded, so let me safety check my camera. Okay, if you have this in here, like this, where this was coming up before, it was, it was just kind of like a small little flap, and it, it really wasn't supported. Um, it didn't have a lot of material around it to, to give it any support. So that little flap would come up, and it would sit like in front right here. You know, kind of be crooked and diagonal sometimes. It would get pushed down the wrong way. Or it would, it would move back and forth, wiggle back and forth a lot with my movement. And it was wearing a lot on the slide. It was wearing a lot on the finish on the slide. And I think I talked about it in my King of Glocks video that um, I'm kind of picky about the finish. I want my finish to stay on there. And I don't mind, like, where that kind of just has to come. Um, I think that's kind of neat. I don't like extra wear, though. I don't want to wear it out unnecessarily. You know, over the course of just a few months, it was noticeably polishing that spot silver. So... Um, I just went ahead and cut it off and rounded it to where it is and now it still kind of wears in that same in the spot where this sits now um, but nowhere near as bad as it did when it was higher and more of uh, just like a flap um, because when it, you know the way I cut it now it's much more supported and it's much more stiff and it doesn't really wiggle the way it was before it really wiggled back and forth and you know any which way and that I haven't found that it changed the comfort of it at all, and uh, I'm really happy with the modification that I made. And um, you know, it doesn't wear on it nowhere near as much. And uh, you know, so I don't know. That's maybe something you could do. You know, if you find and you have the same problem, um, all I did was I just did it with razor. Other than that, uh, retention is excellent. And actually, you need, there's kind of a break-in period with this because it is really stiff. When this thing is new, it is so stiff. <laughs> I mean, you, it, it just, and, and I, you know, I have, a, um, I have another one of these for a different gun that is the total opposite. Um, it came kind of loose if you put the gun in there. It, um... The gun will actually, if you turn it upside down without wearing it, the gun will fall out of there. It didn't require any break-in period. This was the total opposite. It was so stiff. It, you know, it would have been really hard to draw the gun the, you know, first few days that I got this. And uh, over time, it's perfect. I mean, now it's perfect. It holds it tight, really tight, but you can pull it out easily. You, you can, you know, as easily as you would want to. You know, you can pull it out as easily as you would want. But it's really secure. Really secure. So, uh, it was kind of cool. It broke into, like, the perfect level of retention. Um, and also, when you carry inside your waistband, one thing that provides you retention as well is the tightness of your, of your belt. Um, you can actually almost adjust the retention by tightening your belt. Uh, but that also affects your comfort level. The clips on it are excellent. Um, the clips on it, if you watch my um, my uh, uh, review of the um, Cave RTDI, I said that the clips that they use were not springy metal. Um, I don't know if that review will come out just, you know, it'll come out sometime around the review, this review. Uh, I think this one will actually be first. But if you watch that, I talk about... Um, the um, clip, you know, just it gets pulled out and then it stays that shape and it's it's basically useless. These are what I'm talking about. They're hard to pull off of here. They're springy. They don't come off easy. Um, they spring right back to where they were. You know, it doesn't matter. You pull them out. I mean, you know, look at that. It, it, this is how the clip should be. This is how all clips should be made. Um, I would actually pref probably prefer they have a little bit of a V coming up on it on here, like how the TDI does, and well, thank goodness it has that, but this isn't a big deal. This, these clips are excellent, really, really good. Um, 
they're actually quick detachable obviously um, you know and there is no V notch in there so they come off easy if you want them to but they do not come off if you don't want them to um, just really really excellent really like the clips on here they're a big win and and for me because the clips aren't quite as bulky as uh, maybe like the DeSantis clips I know some of the DeSantis um, ones come with plastic clips where they're plastic um, I think these are a little bit better because they're just not as bulky um, this is Kydex and the back plate is leather and the leather will wear on your gun like you know I think I basically touched on that um, and you cannot change the plates on these these are like permanently riveted onto here as you see that um, over time these screws on here will come loose I think I'm gonna put some uh, blue um, blue Loctite on there um, just hold them up I've had this uh, like a year I've had this like a year and then um, I've worn it probably every day for the course of six months you could say um, and I've had and then sporadically throughout the other six months um, as I said in my King of Glax review I actually carry my 23 a lot of times in my pocket uh, but there's just sometimes when I don't want to print or the, the pants that I'm wearing just don't fit uh, it doesn't fit in the pocket and I'm not and I won't have a coat on like in the summertime I essentially have to have to wear this um, in the winter I can I have coat pockets or um, my coat covers up my pant pocket and I have a little bit more options but uh, you know just this thing it, it doesn't show any signs of wear other than you know I, I have it uh, dirty or the finish is maybe rubbing off I'm not sure what that is I think it's dirty um, but those screws have worked their way loose which was the point I was getting at um, twice over the course of the time that I've had it uh, I noticed it last night and then they did it uh, some months ago um, I had noticed it some months ago I don't know when it started so I'm just gonna put some blue lactate on those and uh, you know, other than that I mean this thing is excellent you see how that this style of holster actually conforms to your body it conforms to the spot that you wear it um, and it becomes more comfortable over time uh, I will say uh, when you sit down carrying in the three to five position uh, it gets a little uncomfortable you, you know that you're wearing it a little bit more standing up it's just excellent it's just really really comfortable if you're gonna be standing all day um, but other than that I highly recommend it and like I said it's fit for a king